everybody. Today's video is all about my 40th birthday party. And when I say it was a ball, it was a blast, it was everything and more than what I imagined. It was all the things and I can't wait to fill you all in. So I took some notes because I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget anything because it was just so much stuff um, that went on. So I'm just gonna give you like a brief recap of my 40th birthday party, like the theme and you know, all just the miscellaneous items, um, the general items. So the first thing is I had a two day celebration. So Saturday, um, at 7 o'clock p.m. is when like the party, so it was like a house party. We had a DJ, we had um, a bartender, uh, we had a lot of great food. So it was like a grand old time. So that is what happened on s Saturday. On Sunday at noon, I had a brunch. Um, and this brunch, the, the guest count for the brunch was much smaller they say the party was, the party was kind of like open to everybody, everybody that I invited, my husband invited, um, but Sunday it was more of an intimate crowd because I was having the food catered. So I wanted to keep my numbers down and help kind of keep the cost down. And plus too, you know, it just, it wouldn't be enough room to have all those people for sort of like a sit down um, meal. So therefore the count for the brunch was a little bit smaller than it was for the party. And for the decor, what I wanted to go with was these bright, vibrant colors. And as you can see, I still have some stuff up. I haven't had an opportunity to take everything down, um, but I wanted to go with like bright colors. I mean, because it still is the summertime, although we are approaching or encroaching on fall, I still wanted to go with bright colors because I was born in the summertime. I love bright colors nails right <laughs> so i went with like the hot pinks like magentas and yellows oranges corals i even have like some pops of like turquoise in there too um so i went with all the bold vibrant girly frilly colors um and so you'll see that throughout the video how i kind of incorporated those colors um into the color scheme or to um, the decor um, of the part but let me show you a really brief clip of I think this may have been on Friday where my sister and I we started like setting up tables and I'll just briefly show you just overlap right now and show you like what the the screen and porch look like and you'll see that on the screen and porch we're just kind of setting things up trying to turn up the table wipe things off and it'll be like a, a empty slate um in that screen and porch. And then later on, I'll show you what that looks like once it was fully decorated. I may not have video for everything, but I'll definitely be able to show you like some, um, some pictures of what that area looks like. But at this time, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just show you like um, some brief clips of what happened on Friday as we started to decorate. I apologize for the noise in the back, but Warren, my husband, is mowing the grass. But this is what we have so far. I have two tables set up, and I rented these bamboo chairs. I wanted something that was just a little bit different, not your, your typical fold folding chairs with chair covers or shivari chairs. So I did consider shivari chairs, but I thought those were maybe just a little bit too formal. So I have just regular folding tables and these white spandex tablecloths and then we move the furniture so we move the swivel chair to this side and then the other swivel chair I'll walk y'all over here is on this side and then we have two chairs there and then there's the couch uh, so we move the couch and this little side table here and then we have two chairs over there well no it's just one chair over there i probably could put another chair over in that corner if i had to maybe a little tight so far what we did is put these runners like these chiffon runners and then um the garland i mixed in like this garland that is 
feel it like holiday garland and this like this tropical pretty flowery garland and so now we're about to add some candlesticks and some more decor and i think this would be a great segue i'm going to show you all just uh a clip of my sister and I, we were getting this together. First, I'm gonna insert like a picture. And in this picture, you're gonna see, it's just like some netting. I think it's called deer net or deer fancy or something to that effect. And essentially what it is, is for people to put in like their gardens or their farms so the deers and rabbits won't be able to get into or they won't be able to cross that fence because the holes are so small. I think the holes may be an inch, two inches um, as far as like the diameter on each side um, of, or the perimeter rather, of uh, each side of, of the square. So it's very small, which was perfect for us to be able to put things into. And I'll show you all um, like a time lapse of how we started. And what we use, we use these plastic tablecloths. I got the tablecloths from Hobby Lobby because I did go and just look at, you know, Pinterest and a few other YouTube videos to figure out how can I make a French wall. At first I thought I was gonna have to use some sort of fabric, but once I started to investigate and watch videos and look at Pinterest and just, you know, go on Google and, you know, read different articles, I noticed that a lot of people were using plastic tablecloths Claws. and I definitely wanted to have some kind of accent wall so people could be able to take pictures and so I got the colors I, I got were hot pink yellow um, what else? orange and then I have like this soft pink and then I went in and I accented with like these the gold um, strings or strands and this right here is for like a door let me show you Hopefully you all can, can see this, but these are supposed to be um, something that hangs from the door, but my mom and I, we just cut them up and tied them um, on this net as well. And as you can see, it was a hit, the, um, the wall, and then my mom also put like, she got like a balloon garland that came like cascaded down, like which came halfway down. We just kind of set the this pink chair up under there, um, up under the balloons. In this case, anybody want to sit there and take pictures. And also, you probably saw in that clip um, the numbers, the number four zero. My cousin, she worked on this thing a long time. <laughs> and so she blew up balloons and they put flowers in there, my mom. And so we had those kind of set, sitting off to like the side. And I did take some pictures uh, with the number 40. And I still have those up though where my cousin was like, you know, since Ryan turns four, make sure maybe you can hold on to this four and use it for her. So I have the story, I mean, because this thing is like, five feet tall, like the numbers are like five feet tall. Um, but it definitely was a labor of love, so I really appreciate her for doing that. I appreciate, you know, both of my sisters, my mom, my friends, a lot of sisters, everybody that just kind of helped out and pitched in. So their hard work definitely did not go unnoticed um, because I don't know if I would have been able to pull off this party with the decor and food and everything uh, without them. But I tried to pop in some pictures um, so you can see, but I'm gonna insert a video well, you can see where we did like the favors um, and the favors consisted of like these small gold boxes I got from Hobby Lobby and I put popcorn in there because that's like my favorite snack of all time. I like the Chicago style with the caramel and the cheese popcorn. So I put them in there and then I made these labels um, on Canva. I made them from scratch. I kind of had an idea in my mind. I said, hmm, I think this would look nice if I put something on there that had something to do with like popcorn. So I think I put like, thanks for popping in. Um, but thanks for popping by to celebrate with me and I, you know, sign my name to Neil you. So you probably saw kind of going across the room um, exactly what all that looks like. And for the table that the favorites were sitting on, which actually is my desk. I just covered it up with this rosette tablecloth that I used many, many years ago for the baby shower when I had Kylie. Um, so I had that fuchsia hot pink tablecloth that has come in handy. That tablecloth has, has been used a lot. So I have definitely got my money's worth out of that tablecloth. And let me show you, I actually have a favor. Um, here it is. It's 
it's starting to come off a little bit because it's been in my hands a lot, but this is um, what it looks like. Hopefully y'all can get like a really good view of that. And so it was just like a one small serving of popcorn, something that was cute. And I, I really like making this um, and I definitely wanted to have the popcorn. My sister actually suggested it. She was like, I want you to do popcorn. I said, brilliant idea because I actually did popcorn as a favor um, for the wedding, for my husband and I's wedding. The next thing that I want to discuss is the party invitations. So I, myself, um, because sometimes I can be a little creative and I can get kind of crafty and I, and I come up with ideas and sometimes I just don't want to pay and go through the process of having somebody design something for me when I can design it myself. So I'll show you what I came up with um, for the invitation so for the party invitation i know i knew i wanted to use um some pictures that i took at a photo shoot in dubai when me and some of my sorority sisters went to dubai back in july um and i had like this pretty pink dress on so i used one of those photos or a couple of those photos because i did front and back um so i had like this pretty vibrant picture on the front then on the back it was more so of like a up close picture um and i had like this quote on there what the quote says i don't know i can't remember what the quote let's see if i still have it um i do not remember what the quote says but it's something about being 40 and learning things or having the experience but now you know still being young enough um to reach your goals that is not the quote, but that's like a summation of the quote. And then for the brunch, um, I didn't put a picture of myself on the brunch. I want that to be a little bit more enticing with the food. So I found like some watercolor pictures of food and some florals. And I made like a really cute and pretty invitation for, for the brunch. And not everybody got a brunch invitation, not everybody got a party invitation, not everybody got both. I just kind of, you know, just decided who would get one or the other or both. Uh, Cause as I stated for the brunch, I was trying to make sure that I kept the numbers down just because I want to be able to accommodate so many people. And you know, people understood, okay, hey, I'm coming to the party, not to the brunch or vice versa, or, you know, I got invited to both and that worked out well. And here are the, the actual cards. And as you can see, or these are like the envelopes rather not the cards, but these are the envelopes that I use. Um, I use this for the brunch and some of for my birthday party invitations. And then I also use, for the most part, I use this. It's, it's like a, a hot pink and it has, I'm not sure if you can really see that, but it has like this pearlized um, finish on there, kind of sparkles a little bit. Um, so those are the two that I use and you all, I am a stationary person. Like I just love stationary. I believe whenever you send an invitation that it should be beautiful. And I am a formal invitation type of girl. Um, I know some people use Evi and I don't have anything against those things, but I personally like to send formal invitations. And when I send a formal invitation, it's going to come in a very nice envelope. So the next thing I want to discuss is the decor. I showed you a little bit of footage of like the dining room table from Friday. My mom came in and she was like, wait a minute, we gotta fluff up these flowers a little bit. So she kind of brought the flowers up and made them look a whole lot better. But as I stated before, um, you know, my colors are very vibrant. So I went with some real, real vibrant colors um, and the candles that I had, I showed you the candles in maybe a previous video. So I got some candles also candlesticks rather that were like pink core yellow and orange and i decorated with those i did not light them because i just wasn't sure you know with people drinking and partying and dancing i didn't want it to be an issue anybody bumping the table and then a lit candle falling on a tablecloth or something and then it catching fire so i did not light them it was more of an intimate um setting maybe just like a <clears throat> excuse me a dinner party with maybe like eight people i definitely would have lit them but when you have dozens of people in your house, in your house, you don't want to light candles. So I did not light them. So I will be able to use those um, at a future event or whatever. 
Um, so I definitely want to insert like some footage of what that decor looks like, you know, some pictures and videos. Um, as you can see, um, I went with like different color uh, table runners. Um, I found these on Amazon. They're like a chiffon or some kind of sheer material. Material. I'm not sure. I think it may be chiffon. I think that's the correct terminology for it. But I ordered like some hot pink ones. I had originally ordered like a pink one, but it was more of like a like a muted pink. It wasn't bright enough for me, so I had to send it back and order some more. So I got like a hot pink, yellow, orange, coral, and kind of mixed those amongst the tables. So every table looked somewhat different, except for the two tables outside. Those were um, very similar, the ones that were under the lanai. And then I also accented with like oranges and limes and grapefruit and, and tangerines because um, I wanted to bring in like that fruit element, not necessarily to say so people can eat the fruit or anything like that, but I think fruit adds in some pops of color, especially when you have like, you know, fruits that are like that vibrant. Um, I didn't go with a strawberry because I, I didn't have anything red, but I definitely knew that I wanted to go with like some yellows and oranges. Um, you know, those type of colors. And I even had some lines in there that was green because I feel like they could pull out like the green in the in the center pieces. Um, so I think that really played out well. The ones that were outside the fruit, we did throw that away because it was just, you know, so hot and humid outside. But the ones that were inside, we did keep that, keep that and we were eating, <laughs> eating that fruit. So another thing that I wanted to discuss is the food. So for the food, on Friday, or I'm sorry, on Saturday, that was not catered. It was a labor of love with a lot of my family and friends and sorority sisters that kind of chipped in and helped us get those things together. And I had a plethora of food. Um, I had, some, let me see, what did I have? I had chicken salad sandwiches. I got some croissants from Sam's and I got some chicken salad from a local store. Um, that makes really good chicken salad and kind of stuff the croissants with the chicken salad. Um, I had steak bites. I had some, my husband or my father-in-law bought, bought me some steak in that was cut up in cubes and we just took like, um, what else, two picks in the, in the steak. So people can just pick up those individually. We had Rotel dip. So we had some poppers, like some jalapeno poppers, and my cousin made those. So it was like jalapeno peppers, stuffed with chicken breast, cream cheese, um, and wrapped in bacon. And she baked those in the oven and they were really good. I thought it would be spicy, but they were not spicy because she took out the membrane, like the seeds. So it was not that spicy. Uh, we also had like these shrimp bites. Or I'll call them like mini shrimp tacos. And, and what they were is like some scoops, you know, like the scoops that you buy um, to scoop up like any kind of dip. Um, I found this on Pinterest. I said, this has to be easy to make. So what I did, I bought like some guacamole and some pico de gallo. My last sister, she mixed it together, put like a little bit in the, in the scoop, a little sour cream, put the shrimp on top and then sprinkle it with some cilantro. Perfect. So, so good. Uh, what else did we have? Um, we also had some sliders, some pulled pork sliders. So I just took this, the pulled pork and stuffed that inside of some Hawaiian rolls. Um, and that was really good. I had pasta salad. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. We had pasta salad. Then I had like some various, like some desserts, like mini cupcakes of different type of flavors. Um, and those were a hit as well. Um, and then lastly, the bartender. The bartender made me four signature drinks. Um, one of them was like a rum base, tequila base, vodka base. I think I had two vodka base. So two vodka, tequila, and a rum. And those drinks were good and strong. And strong. My guests love, love those drinks. But he was also there to mix drinks. And we had some wine and beer for people to drink as well. Um, so I think that was a good idea for us to have a bartender instead of people just trying to make their own drinks, which is fine. But when you have a bartender, it just kind of takes the thinking out of it. Um, so that was a, a, a hit. So I think 
the food and the drinks were definitely um, something that I thoroughly enjoyed at my birthday party. And I think our guests um, enjoyed them as well. Oh, I, I think, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, we did have chicken chicken wings. Um, I got some chicken wings from um, the Publix grocery store, which were really, really good. I had like four different types of flavors. So those were good too. But overall, the food, the drinks, everything was really good. So I hope we saw like that footage um, of the bartender and the food so you can kind of get an idea of exactly how everything looked how everything was laid out for the most part i try to use my white dishes and i have like gold utensils uh, like spoons and tongs for people um, to get the food and so for the party itself and i just pop in like a few pictures and um some of us dancing and just having a great time. The DJ was really good. He's actually um, a family member. So my husband asked him to DJ and the music was really good. We all just had such a ball. Um, and what I did too in the living room and even out on some of the, a couple of the porches, my husband installed some dimmers so it wouldn't be so bright. You know, it was, you know, we had we had the ambiance kind of going. I didn't want it to be like a nightclub or anything like that, but I did want it to be like, oh, okay, it's daytime and these lights are super bright. So we did dim the lights a little bit. And I think, you know, that kind of helped with the mood um, that we were going for and the ambiance that we were going for. Um, but everybody just had a good time. People were laughing, dancing, talking, you know, catching up because, these are people that we grew up with and went to school with and work with and a lot of these people they know each other and they had seen each other you know in a couple of years because of COVID so it was a lot of catching up and you know seeing how everyone was doing so it was like a little mini anniversary for some of the people um they had seen each other in a while so let's fast forward to Sunday the brunch day and I'm going to insert some footage um of me just kind of walking through what the house looked like on Sunday morning. Good morning. It is Sunday, the day after the party. I went to bed around four o'clock. It's about eight o'clock now. I just can't sleep. I had to get up and start doing something. As you can see, my 40, the balloons have completely come down. That tells you what kind of night it has been, but hopefully we can get those back up. Just want to show you all what it looks like again. Hopefully I've been popping up footage so you can see. These are just some of the gifts and cards and stuff that I've received. I kind of changed out this. I had my regular invitation, but I put this one right here and I'll show you what that looked like. Well, you know what the what the invitation looks like. And just one more close up of the table, and we added in like fruit, so add in some lemon, limes, tangerines, grapefruit, oranges, just to add like some pops of colors um, in there. Let me take you all outside. Still need to clean up a little bit. Look, you can see what kind of night it was. Look, look at all that. Um, but yeah, we, we added a fruit here as well. And today is Sunday, so we're going to have a brunch. If I recall correctly, we had the these lanterns, I think two of the lanterns are small lanterns on the table, so I'm gonna have to fix that this morning. So let me take y'all on the screen porch. Oh, the little nine on the screen porch. So here are the tables. You all, what we did, we moved these tables, so they were, I think we had them like diagonal, like this. We move the tables to the side, to the side, all the chairs. Look, we folded up the chairs and uh, made this into like our little makeshift dance floor. Look, look at all the, the chairs that we moved over. 
And just FYI, if you all can see, like we put these streamers, well, my mom did anyway, put these streamers um, on the back of the chair just to add like some pops of color because we had um, some of them left over from when we did the, the wall, the feature wall. You know, we did that out of plastic tablecloth. So we had some strips that were left over. So I was like, let's, let's use those. So my mom put them on the back of the chair. I thought, you know, that was a cute accent to the chairs. A couple of these things broke. Look right here. Um, and I'm pretty sure, you know, maybe when the table's bump, it hit it. Cause this glass is very, very thin. Um, so, I'll have to be causing of that the next time I use them. Yeah, let me take you over here. Still have a little cleanup to do from this morning, but it still looks good. I mean, it wasn't much. And everybody was very respectful of the house. You know, you have, you know, cups here and there, wiping off counters and tables and things like that. But this morning, um, the caterer, will be here at 10.30 and brunch starts promptly at 12. So I'll get some footage of that so you all can see how that turned out. So as you can see, Sunday, you know, things were pretty tidy because my friends, they cleaned up the kitchen on um, Saturday night, you know, wiped down some of the counters and the, and the tables, but I did go back and, you know, do some cleaning. I cleaned both of the bathrooms. Um, set on Sunday morning, you know, wiped down some counters and mopped a couple of the floors, but it wasn't a lot that needed to be, they needed to be done. But as you can see, that poor little 40, <laughs> that kind of explains to you how the night went. That thing had worked. It had worked. It had stood up for a few hours for us, but then that night it had just kind of like, hey, I'm tired, but we didn't have much to do. Sunday morning and I'm going to show you some footage of the caterers because it started the brunch started at 12 o'clock and the caterers around arrived around 10 30 10 45 to start to start setting up and they had already cooked a lot of things off site they have to you know do some things because they were cooking eggs to order they were scrambling eggs and if people wanted the omelet they would have cooked the omelet so but I don't think anybody requested the omelet but they set up and it looked really nice. And then I'll take you outside so you can see exactly how they set up the tables. They brought like um, some placemats. They supplied like the plastic like dinner plates and the salad plates and even like the plastic wear they supplied as well. So it looked really nice and they had it set up um, in the dining room, in the breakfast nook, the lanai, and then the screen and porch. Um, all of those areas had, you know, those place settings. So I thought that was really nice. And then for brunch itself, the food, oh my gosh. Unfortunately, I didn't have like a really good video of all the food because by the time uh, one of my line sisters started recording, people were already in line so she can capture everything. But I had um, breakfast food and I had like some lunch food. So of course we had the eggs that were being cooked to order, I had shrimp and grits, I had chicken and waffles, I had um, potatoes, breakfast potatoes, bacon, sausage, then I had white rice, cabbage, smothered pork chops, um, and a pasta, a chicken Alfredo um, pasta. And then for the drinks, um, they made like this strawberry lemonade and added like some wine to it because I didn't have champagne. I forgot to get the champagne. I didn't have the champagne. And I, t I should have told the caterer to get it for them, but they added in um, the wine and the champagne. So we had some that were alcoholic. And then I also had um, made some drinks myself in some little glass bottles for people that wanted like orange juice and apple juice and grapefruit juice. And then we had water um, as well. And then lastly, for entertainment, I hired a saxophone player. And he was really good. I hired him for an hour. I feel like I should have hired him for like an hour and a half or two hours because I was like, oh, he's gone already. He's about to leave. Uh, he was playing some really good music, music that I considered to be 
appropriate for um, a brunch, like a Sunday brunch, you know, kind of soft R&B, relaxing, you know, nothing that was too crunk or too lively. We did, you know, like some real nice chill neo soul uh, type music. And I'll just insert like a clip of him playing it here. <laughs> everybody I have went through my list I think that is it <laughs> um everything I think I covered everything and again y'all I had such a good time um it really was a birthday to remember I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to top that I think this is like my birth my best birthday party yet I mean it was just like that it was so fun and we had a lot of people at the house a lot of people on Saturday, I know it was at least, at least 75. And some people may wonder, you know, you want to have all those people at your house, you know, why do you rent a venue? Listen, we have this big house here. We have all of these different spaces. Um, and the house, although it is not complete, is not where I want it to be. But I'm just living, I'm living. And I'm not, I'm not the one to wait for things to be perfect. Um, and this is a house I knew when we were building this house that I wanted to entertain in this house. And there's no time like the present. And the people that we in, that we invited are people that we know personally. We'd invite strangers to our home. Everybody was so respectful. Um, there wasn't trash that was left all over the place. I mean, it was a cup here and there, but it just it definitely wasn't like outrageous. I mean, people were being, being very respectful of our house. So, you know, it was our family, our friends, you know, some of my husband's fraternity brothers, some of my sorority sisters. So it was just people that we've known for years. And we just all had a good time because I've got to the age where I'm not a club person. I don't do the clubs. I go to a club every now and then. Somebody wants to go, you know, to celebrate something. But for me to say, okay, I want to celebrate my birthday at the club, that's just not me. I'm 40 and I love a house party. I've always loved a house party ever since I was a teenager. Just like, you know, you have more flexibility when it comes to a house party. You don't have to leave early if you don't want to. You don't have to clean up that night if you don't want to. So it is so much flexibility uh, with the house. So that's why we decided to have um, the party at the house. And as I stated, we probably had at, at least 75. It could have been m way more than that. I don't know, but everybody was comfortable. We had people in my office taking pictures. We had people in the dining room and the living room, um, in the kitchen, at the island, the breakfast, and the we had people that were in the screen and porch. But now we even had some people downstairs because I had a hookah set up, and so people were down there with the hookah. So it was just space for everybody. Nobody felt tight and it felt uncomfortable. It wasn't hot. It was just right. And then for that Sunday, I. I think I had maybe about 35 to 40 people, so it was much smaller. Still a nice crowd, but um, it wasn't as crowded as it was. I don't say crowded, but it wasn't as many people as it was Saturday night. But would I change anything about what happened? Nope, I had an awesome time. So thank you all so much for watching. This is cheers to 40 years. Can't wait till my 41st birthday. I quite sure if I'm gonna do a house party again or any kind of entertaining. But if you enjoy these type of videos, me kind of going behind the scenes and showing you how things turned out when it comes to entertaining me, because I will be doing more entertaining at the house. I'm gonna be hosting Christmas. My husband and I, our family, we're going to be hosting Christmas this year. So I definitely wanna show you that if that's something you're interested in. So if you're interested in these type of videos and you really like it and you would like to see more of this, please let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I will see you all at the next video. Okay, bye guys.